How's it going? So a lot of people want to know how to make um, an axle and wheel um, that can connect with PVC threading. So I'm going to show you how to do that. And we're going to make ours out of steel because it'll be nice and sturdy. Um, this way is way easier the way that I think about it because um, you can thread on and off and it's really, really nice and tight. So let's go over the parts. The first one is this 18 inch tube that we have in the middle. In our system, we use a 20 inch tube, but here we're using 18 inch. And then you've got these three fourth inch T's right over here. And these just thread nicely in PVC tubing, but you can also use black steel parts. So here we're using that to make it nice and tight and you just thread them on, okay? Next, what we have is our axle. And this one is just a 5 8 inch uh, tube that you can get from Home Depot in the hardware area. This one is 36 inches long, okay? And then the piece that we're gonna to use to hold our um, hold the axle together inside the tube is these things called cable glands that are usually used for electricity, but in this case, we're gonna use them to hold things together. All right. Okay, that's in. Pop this guy on. Then take this and put it on top. Boom, boom. Nice. Now, what we have is a really, really nice and tight axle. Doesn't rattle, stays super tight solid this is sweet so now what we're going to do is take this guy you want the extrusion part pointing inside you put it in pops right in okay then you're going to use these things that are called shaft collars you can kind of see it goes whoop, 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 whoop. and this way the wheel doesn't slide off right then you just go here it is all done it's nice and tight doesn't slide off super sturdy so you can see it works really well and the coolest part is that it can come on and off um, and the other thing is that you can swap these for four ways or five ways later to be able to make something that goes you know you have you can have two axles and be able to make all kinds of cool things like carts or go-karts or something like that so uh, this is the first video well, I'll make another one showing different kinds of wheels but I hope you enjoyed this and let us know if you want to see anything else. Thanks. If you want to learn how to make more cool stuff like this, check out craftyumigo.com.